UK Defence Minister addresses election threats, Canada to hold public hearing on CCP's interference. Hi everyone and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we are going to be talking about the upcoming foreign interference inquiry in Canada and the recent warning from the UK's Defence Secretary about the threats posed by China, Russia and Iran to this year's elections. As you know, 2024 is a big year for elections around the world, and Canada and the UK are no exceptions. In Canada, there will be a public hearing on January 29 to examine allegations of Chinese interference in the country's recent federal elections. The inquiry will focus on accusations that Chinese officials engaged in a range of activities to influence the outcome of the elections, including intimidating candidates making illegal campaign donations, providing free labor to Canadian candidates and MPs, using covert tactics to influence policy. These allegations are serious and have the potential to undermine the integrity of Canada's democratic system. Meanwhile, in the UK, Defence Secretary Ben Wallace has said that the government is taking the threat of foreign interference in this year's elections very seriously. His comments come after warnings from counter-terrorism officials that hostile states are using increasingly sophisticated methods to meddle in democratic processes. They are doing this by spreading disinformation online hacking into political campaigns. Bribing or blackmailing politicians, these activities are a threat to the UK's democracy and could have a significant impact on the outcome of the elections. So what could be done to address these threats? In Canada, the public inquiry into Chinese interference is a good first step. It will allow for a thorough investigation of the allegations and help to identify ways to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. In the UK, the government is considering a number of measures to counter foreign interference, including increasing funding for counterterrorism and intelligence agencies, introducing new laws to make it easier to prosecute those who engage in foreign interference, working with other countries to develop a coordinated response to the threat. These are all positive steps, but more needs to be done. We need to raise awareness of the threat of foreign interference and educate the public about how to protect themselves from it. We also need to hold social media companies accountable for the role they play in spreading disinformation. In the meantime, it's important to remember that foreign interference is not just a problem for Canada and the UK. It's a global problem that threatens the integrity of democratic institutions everywhere. That's why it's so important to stay informed about this issue and to take action to protect our democracies. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.